is a Maori expression that translates to what's most important in life. It's the people, it's the people, it's the people. That's certainly true for all of us at the Travel Corporation. Travel is all about people, those we meet on our journeys, our fellow travelers, and our teams who enable us to provide these memorable experiences. Over the years, we have come to know and love so many of our guests who have joined us on many voyages across all of TTC brands. Sadly, we've not been able to welcome them in person this year, but we reached out to them and in celebration of our first 100 years and to honor World Tourism Day, we are pleased to present the voices of our travelers. Gavin Tolman, CEO of Trafalgar, has always kept in close touch with his travelers. One special guest is Bruce McFarlane, who traveled to Europe with his wife, Sandra, to celebrate their anniversary and share all they loved and enjoyed with friends through posts on Instagram. Hi, Bruce, wonderful to see you again. Great to see you again, Gavin. I, I know recently, or just a couple of years ago, um, we had the privilege of being able to host you and your wife, Sandra, on one of our trips to celebrate a very important and special milestone, your 25th wedding anniversary. We did the big European Supreme. That's, I think, the 28, 30 day trip, 13 countries. I recall cruising at night in front of the parliament in Budapest. I remember Santorini, Switzerland was beautiful where we were. And I remember our night in Athens after we went out for the uh, local diamond tour. We went up to the top of the hotel, had a beverage on the rooftop and you could just see the Acropolis lit up. It was just, it was a trip of a lifetime, Gavin. It was just incredible. We love it when guests who have found one TTC brand go on to discover our others over the course of their lives, discovering countries and cultures around the world. That's especially true of Mrs. Ming, who has become one of our most beloved and cherished travelers by many of our brands. Henry Yu, head of UniWorld Operations for Asia, spoke to her. I have been on many of other TTC's brands, like Kentucky, when I was, of course, very, very much younger, and I did six of those. Then I had um, with Evans twice in the UK, and uh, with Trafalgar 13 times, with Inside Vacation 11 times, and of course, the Jewel in the Crown, Uniwell, 41 times. It is always the people that makes my cruises memorable. Always the people. The ships are beautiful, the decor is fantastic, the food is superb, the service is excellent. And it's always the personalized service that I enjoy most in Uniwell. So it's the, it's the personal touch that makes Uniwell superb. Our next guest connection takes us from Geneva, Switzerland to Nashville, Tennessee. Ulla Heffelbola, CEO of Insight Vacations and Luxury Gold, was in touch with Sue Kane, who has traveled with her husband David on multiple journeys with Insight Vacation. Sue, I know you've taken 26 Insight trips so far and you're still counting. Could you think back of some of those magic moments on those trips and what made those trips so special? Well, I have thought about that and it's very difficult to do because I, I can't think of one that we wouldn't be sad if we had missed it. First of all, the Northern Spain, it was absolutely fantastic. All traveling across the North was just gorgeous and the food was just wonderful. So it was really, really good. When we, we went on the country roads of France, that food was delicious. And one of those was in a winery where they served dinner and the fellow that was, they had the winery to explain each wine. So that was, a, that was a very, very nice experience. I think it helps keep us young. We've been doing it now for over 20 years and I think it helps 
helps keep us moving. Thank you for your loyalty, for your kind words. And when the world open, opens up again, we will be right there and you're taking you and David on your next trip. We can't wait for that moment to happen. I appreciate your, your talking to me, so thank you very much. At Red Carnation Hotels, we are so fortunate to serve the most wonderful guests who have now become part of the Red Carnation family and who return to our hotels again and again throughout their lives and for some of the most important times of their lives. Our managing director, Jonathan Raggett, reached out to one such family, Gary, Grace, and their nine-month-old daughter, Gracie Lee. So tell me, which, uh, which of the Red Carnation hotels have you visited? Which ones have you been to so far? Right, so we've been to the 12 Apostles, which is my 50th. Um, and went to Summer Lodge. Which is where we got engaged. We got engaged. And my birthday. And Grace's yeah. birthday. And then we got married in the Montague. Yeah. Um, exactly. In London. Yeah. That's fantastic. So, obviously, it's really nice to hear that. What, what sort of stood out at Red Carnation for, for you guys in terms of the rooms or the restaurants or our people? What, what sort of stood out? It was a service. It was, it was a service. Um, and how friendly they were. And nothing was uh, too much. Even down to. I was quietly searching um, for a diamond when I was out there as well. And even the, the guy on the, the concierge, he helped so much, put me in contact with so many people. Even down to, to normal restaurants, booking restaurants, getting um, transport there. Uh, nothing was, was too much. I think we'll just work away random roll, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> One day. Yeah. We'll start with Ashford Castle, though, because that was meant to be our honeymoon. Um, and, well, it's my homeland because I'm Irish. Good. Well, we really do look forward to welcoming all three of you to Ashford Castle in the not too distant future. And uh, when we're next together, I'm buying the bottle of champagne for us. Much as we love connecting with our guests, we are especially pleased when they connect with one another, building lifelong friendships that stretch around the globe. TTC's general manager in New Zealand, Scott Cleaver, was in touch with a group of friends that had met on a UniWorld trip. Four couples from Nova Scotia, Raleigh, North Carolina, San Antonio, Texas, and Wellington, New Zealand. They tell the story of how they met on a UniWorld trip to Portugal and have been traveling together ever since. How did this friendship come about? Well, we started in Portugal, that was our first trip. And there was a couple of days in Lisbon ahead of time. And we went, we sort of met a lot of people in, in the hotel bar, but the first one- That's was, because every time you saw a table for two, you went over and said, are you on the Uniworld trip? Come and join our tables. <laughs> but Kitty and Bill, we were sitting having a morning snack one day and, they, and the tables were for four and they came over and asked us if we could join them. So you all met on your first trip together where you became friends was on that uni world trip out of Portugal yeah. and and what what else have you done because you've traveled with the travel corporation a number of times before we got off that boat we had made arrangements to travel the next year well, we would always do the night of the heritage dinner we'd get the brochure and figure out where's our next trip for next year and sit down until we could all agree so, so, so we're about, what, six years into this adventure, you guys? This is about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, that really speaks to the quality of the friendship. As you can imagine, we've greatly missed our guests this year. But the lack of travel we have all experienced in 2020 has made us appreciate it and look more forward to it all the more. As the world prepares to reopen in 2021 and we can begin to let ourselves dream our travel dreams again, we at TTC look forward to serving all of them and you. So until then, take care, stay well and until next month. <laughs>